So I've been thinking over the last sort of 30 years, the internet has really, really caught on and average bodies use it for day-to-day -day connection with each other, spreading information to each other, giving news to each other and basically circumnavigating, having to go through, say for instance, the papers, go to the BBC, that sort of stuff. So we can share information with ourselves of what really is going on around the world. And I was thinking that's actually a problem to them. And at some point they want to going to try and curtail that. I was thinking of all the reasons they could possibly do it. Mainly, uh, they could say that, I don't know, there's some sort of uh, war going on or whatever, and we've got to reduce the amount of information being shared, if there was a war going on. But I was thinking, what would be the easiest way to just switch it off pretty much for good? Because the system will always make sure that it can communicate with itself. So banking can communicate, the uh, back lines of, say, for instance, law and order security, that kind of thing but they just don't want us talking to each other. Now, if you think I'm talking shit, think about this, right? What have they done away with the last X amount of years? Meeting halls, meeting clubs, churches, pubs, all this kind of stuff where we used to form community and get on and talk to each other. Well, they've done away with that and they've done quite successfully with the, the putting up the price of rent, putting up the price of rates, putting up the price of beer, stopping smoking in places, and that's just for the pubs. And then there's other things. Uh, and people are pretty skint anyway. And then you brought about COVID where everybody couldn't go out and a lot of businesses shut down for that. And that yet again brought about more divide. So how do you get rid of the internet? Solar storm? Have a little listen to this and see what you think. And it, it totally wiped out the telegraph system. So the telegraph system was their internet of the day. Hang on, let's see if we can get back to there. Well, it's not just pretty lights, though, when it comes to the Aurora Borealis. In fact, some of these solar storms can actually disrupt and even damage technology on Earth. The Carrington event, happened in the year 1859, stands as the strongest observed solar storm in modern human history. Now, that caused a lot of problems. It's back when we had the telegraph, but we almost had one in 2012. Earth narrowly missed that one. So if or when it happens, a solar storm that impacts the globe could become a $2 trillion disaster because it is a magnetic energy that comes through with these storms and that's where we could have problems. If it were to occur, it might take a decade for us to recover. Some of the destruction of communication infrastructure could bring about the end of the internet. You heard me right. This idea was actually explored by a UC Irvine student. She researched the potential in her paper entitled, Solar Superstorms, Planning for an Internet mm. Apocalypse. One of the greatest dangers facing the internet with the potential for global impact is a powerful solar superstorm. And there you go. So imagine one day you go to bed, everything normal. Next day you wake up and nothing. No internet, no electric, no whatever. It's a possibility. Now, is there a case that, say, for instance, uh, there could be something that they could do that would give the impression of one of these and take away the internet. It's worth asking these questions because basically the internet is the biggest gift to us lot because we can share information with each other. Now they're bringing about more and more laws to stop us being able to share information, you know, but nevertheless, they it's like trying to plug the dam, isn't it? And then obviously you've got the, the dark web and stuff like that, which I don't actually understand anything about. But basically people do use it to share information. So could there be something released just outside of our, our planet, some sort of nuclear whatever that could have that effect? And if so, do you reckon they would? It's worthwhile asking. But if it actually happened in real life, just, just imagine there is actually a real superstorm and it wiped out all of our electrical systems. It doesn't matter thinking about it, does it? Your motor, done. Your computers, done. Your phone, done. All these masts and towers that your phone used to work on, finished. God only knows what would happen to power stations. The grid, finished. Just about anything that had an electric circuit in it, fried. Don't fancy being in hospital and being ill and hooked up to a machine at that point, do you? I don't suppose they're going to get off any better. No, it's a, it's well worth a thought. Can you imagine what you'd do without it? I mean, there's a lot of single blokes out there panicking right now, thinking what would happen if I, 
if I lost my means to my, uh, uh, yeah, you would have for yourself. <laughs> You'd have to start going out dating again, lads, wouldn't you? And all of that online stuff that people watch at night, all those, uh, I don't know, sitcoms, documentaries, whatever, all gone. TV, gone. Oh, my God, people that have to start talking to each other. <laughs> Can you imagine that? People that have been married for years that have been blissfully ignoring each other for all of that time and going about their life watching shit on TV and pretty much ignoring the other person's existence, all of a sudden are left with nothing else but looking at that person and go, well, speak. I don't know. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. And you find out you're married to a complete stranger. Interesting. Or you've now got to pick up relationships with those around you because life's so infinitely boring looking at the wall. And there'll be many of us that don't read books. That can be awkward. It's all something to think about, isn't it? In some ways, it wouldn't be a bad thing, would it? But hey ho, you know, you'd have to build community up again. But in some ways, it would be a bad thing. Because if we've got no way of seeing what they're doing, then they've got every means to do whatever it is they want, and we'll never know about it. Although, who knows? It's just one of those, isn't it? What if, but what if, but what if, but what if? I'll let you think about that. <laughs>